There it is. Okay, hello everybody. It has been uh, a couple days, actually. I'm so used to saying it's been been a while, but actually it is not. It's been just a couple days. I'm keeping up with it for the most part. Uh, I definitely need to catch up on my highlights and stuff as well. Well, yeah, we're getting back to some Mario Kart. You know, I tried Chocobo GP. It was okay, but I don't really see myself, you know, going too deep into that stream-wise. And I still have all of Mario Kart, you know. We're on the 150cc now. And we're going to have all of these to deal with soon enough so let's keep cranking through them see see what's up all right and how's my loadout looks pretty good let's 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 do it um and we've been working on the banana cup i want to keep working on the banana cup or maybe swap over here and then work my way back let's try it out let's go with the bell cup for now and we'll get to the dlc cups in a bit you know? Um, basically, after I finish up these ones, hopefully I can finish up these last few before the next set of DLC cups comes out, but, you know, we'll see. Alright. Oh, I think I did a little early. No? No, that was okay. Um, yeah. I got a little locked into the timing for Chocobo GP, which is at the beginning of two. As this is right after. Whoops. Okay, okay. Gotta get the handling correct. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Neo Bowser City is pretty tricky. A lot of twists and turns, but I got it. I got it. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Once. Oh, oh, oh that was very close. Uh, yeah, let's let's drop this banana over there. Ah, that's it. That's the part that's going to throw me. That turn. It will be tricky, but... I got it. I got it. Just got to practice, you know? I've been able to get through most of these already. And I haven't even touched 200cc. Oh, boy. That's going to be interesting. That's the one where it's like, you got to be, you know, like, feathering the brakes. It's almost like stock car racing, basically. Like, the drifts have to be so spot on. I'm excited for it. I'm definitely up for the challenge, but uh, at the same time, it's like, oh boy. Which I just, I'll, I'll take it as it comes, you know? It's gonna, it's gonna take me quite a while. It's already taking me, gosh, I think I've been working on this for like, uh-oh, dang it. I've been working on this for quite a while, although I did take like about a year break in the middle there. Not intentionally, you know, I just kind of, kind of forgot. No, it wasn't a year break from this, it was a year break from Shield. And then, yeah, I still haven't finished Pokemon Shield. I don't know if I will, like, I still would like to finish out the Pokedex, but... I don't know, nobody seemed all that interested. You know, if you're interested, let me know. I'll definitely, like, get back to it, it's just, uh, yeah. Um, I just didn't really have anybody watching, and it was uh, a lot of work with all the voice acting and all of that, so, you know, I don't know. I, I just find uh, mainstream, ah, mainline Pokemon a little tedious, you know? Arceus is a little nicer, because you can just hop in and catch without having to necessarily go into battles, although battles are still important to the game. So, uh, yeah, we will be working through it. And I'm doing that on Saturday, so. Tune in tomorrow for some of that. I'm going back and forth. I might uh, swing down to Ikea tomorrow. So, stream might be a little later in the afternoon. I'm still not sure. Because I really would like a new set of shelves. The, the collect shelves for all my board games, and I'd really like a new bed because the one I have is just, oh, so uncomfortable at this point, but it's gonna be like 400 bucks altogether, and I gotta get my wisdom teeth out in a couple months, and that's gonna be expensive. Whoop, there it is. So, probably not the best to spend a ton of money, and I already spent like quite a bit doing some uh, 
getting some upgrades on our household. Which I'm not going to talk about because that's spoilers for uh, when my roommates get back from their trip. I think they'll be very happy with what minor things I've done. Whoop. Ah, there we go. Yeah, if you're tuning in, uh, please consider following and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And check out my Discord and Stream Archive channel, you know? I got an open Discord. Feel free to come in and hang out, chat, post your stuff, whatever you like, you know? Um, and I've got uh, the Stream Archive YouTube channel that has all of my past streams, except for like a couple of them, you know? Or a couple that had like technical difficulties or were just for like testing something out. So I haven't included those, but like, the majority of my streams are all archived on there. Woo! There we go. Alright, not doing great. I'm not super familiar with these tracks and I'm a little rusty because it's been, it's been a bit since I've played some Mario Kart, but I think I'm doing okay. My voice is a little croaky. I think it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just allergies. I'm trying to uh, move back on the Flonase a little bit because the recommended dose of Flonase is one, one dose per nostril, but I've been doing too, because when I got prescribed like prescription strength Flonase back in the day, they had me on two. But uh, yeah, I think most of it's getting wasted. It's go I'm going through it super fast, and overall, I feel like I need to give my body a chance to actually try and fight, you know, fight off allergens. I mean, that's what allergies is, really. It's just like it is your body trying to fight off allergens because it thinks that they're a problem. Um, so you just gotta, you know, you gotta be delicate with it. You're just trying to alleviate the symptoms, more or less. That's just me, though. I'm not gonna tell anybody else how to handle their business. Alright, here we go. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There we go. Whoop. Started that trip a little early. Ah. Whoop. Oh boy. Oh, no. A little early on that one, too. Whoop. Come on now. Come on now. Whoop. Um. We have some big plans for the stream. I'm going to do that Banjo-Kazooie charity stream. I got to contact Wix for Kids about it. But, uh, yeah. Going to do that in, uh, in a couple weeks, actually. It's going to be the last Saturday of the month, so the 30th. And, yeah. It's going to it's gonna be a 100% Banjo-Kazooie marathon, so probably around 8 to 11 hours. And, you know, come hang out whenever you want. No pressure to stick around the whole time. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... At the end of it, I'm going to cut my hair off and donate it to Wix for Kids. Yeah, and hopefully we'll collect some good donations because, uh, as I saw, only 30% of it is donating the hair. The other 70%, they do need monetary donations. So, whatever you guys can give would be awesome. And yeah, I'll be streaming it basically all day that day. Uh, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hopefully have my stream, my uh, my stream set up. Oh my god. Getting all sorts of like items I never get because I don't usually get this far back. Um, 
yeah, I'm gonna hopefully have my camera set back up and everything. I haven't been using it just because my, my MacBook, the encoding, is not great. And I keep having like little, little setbacks on saving up for the streaming PC. You know, goals around 2,500 bucks. Um, and yeah, I, I keep getting a little setbacks because of medical stuff or, you know, like I said, really could use a new bed. Uh, I'm gonna start getting like regular, does it sound less bougie if I call it physical therapy? <laughs> It's massages, basically. And it's not, like, super expensive or anything, but... Yeah, I just... I have a lot of, like, neck and, like, shoulder pain. So, I got all that worked out and uh, got some, like, actual decent advice. Because, like, I do weight training, and because I have pretty weak pecs, I've been working so hard on them. And the thing that uh, the masseuse said is, like... My pecs are so developed at this point um, that they are actually pulling on my head and neck and everything. And yeah, causing me a lot of neck pain and like strain and stuff. So I should work out more of my upper back to like balance it all out. And I am definitely gonna start doing that. I need to hit the gym again in general. I was sick for a while, so. Uh, now that I'm feeling better, you know, I'm gonna start hitting the gym, having a great time. Yeah, I really overworked myself, because I, I had all these plans to do spring cleaning, clean the entire house, and, uh, you know, since I was gonna be the only one here, it'd be, like, no problem. And, uh, yeah, it didn't, didn't really work out, because I, I bought, I, basically, I went, got a bunch of stuff for all of that, um, after I dropped off my roommates at the airport at, like, 5 or something. And I hit, I hit, I dropped them off at 5, I hit the gym, because I was like, well, I'm up this early anyways. Um, then I, I, uh, yeah. I went, bought a bunch of stuff, which was a ton of work, and then I did, like, some cleaning and, like, some stuff. And the next day, I was just wrecked. You know in Stardew Valley, when you, like, spend all of your energy, and so the next day you only have half an energy bar? It was that. It was 100% that. I just felt so terrible. And then I still had stuff to do, so I felt, like, really bad the next day. And so, yeah, today I finally felt, like, felt okay again. Ah, you dip dang Daru. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I was taking it easy. Taking it easy today. I've been working through, I'm re-watching all of 10 Minute Power Hour now that it's back, because there's a few that I never really paid that much attention to, or I skipped because I didn't really care about the people at the time. Like, Crank Gameplays, I didn't know when he was on 10 Minute Power Hour the first time. And now, I actually, I enjoy Ethan. I enjoy Eve. So I'll be... I'll be checking that out. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's so fun. Like, I love Game Grumps, but in re don't give me that pity clap. I like it too. Um, but like, 10 minute power hour is like the most I've laughed at like any video on YouTube in a long time. Like, they just consistently are so funny. They do get gross sometimes, which I'm not as big a fan of those, but yeah. Ooh, bitty buggy. Mm, no, no, no. Going back. Going back to, uh, my goodness, I have so many. Yeah, there it is, the P-Wing. Yeah, I, I really, really love 10 Minute Power Hour, and they go by so quick. There's like 120 of them, but like I started, I think, yesterday, and I'm already like most of the way through the playlist. And that's even including the stuff on other channels, like where Jack Septiguy had him, had uh, Aaron on his 10 Minute Power Hour. 
which I, I I'd never actually watched because I uh, I can't watch all of Jacksepticeye's videos. He puts out so many. I do watch some of his play. I usually him or Markiplier. I'll watch their stuff, but I'll uh, wait. I'll usually wait until they're doing like a specific series. I don't watch everything they do. You know, I'll watch when they do three scary games because that's fun. I like seeing a lot of different new game ideas. Um, and I'll watch if there's like a specific game I'm interested in. You know, but uh, yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them I'll skip out on. I'd say, yeah, I'd say I, I. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. I haven't even really been watching Game Grumps. I used to watch it, like, religiously. Like, literally every day I would watch every upload. Because I I was a big fan of Aaron. And I was... I had become kind of a fan of John because Aaron had collabed with him and talked about him in a panel, and I checked him out. Um, you all saw where he went, though. And, uh, yeah, like a lot of people, I kind of took a break when Danny came on, because I was like, I don't know Danny. And I'd actually, I'd watch, like, Dinosaur Laser Fight and a bunch of other NSP stuff, and I didn't really like it that much, originally. And then, uh, I gave it another shot after I'd been watching, after, uh, I'd been watching him on Grumps after I got back to it. And yeah, no, they're, they're super funny and just, like, really good music, so I been a big fan since then and uh, yeah it was up until I stopped living on my own basically up through 2015 I watched like everything sometimes I wouldn't watch all the steam train or whatever um but then 2016 I started living with Toko and so I didn't really have all the time and I had like I like got a full-time job so I kind of fell off for a while um and I've been, like, getting back into it. I've been trying to get through their Danganronpa because I'm a big fan of the Danganronpa series. I have, I'm have i still working through the original. And then, yeah, just I'm watching best ofs. I think that's the big thing that I've been doing a lot of is uh, watching a lot of Figgy's best ofs because I've been getting recommended them a lot. Um, my plan I th was to basically just go back, watch all of the best ofs from when I stopped watching up through like recently and then just start watching it regularly again but like their their whole schedule is totally different now they're like uh half an hour or like 45 minute episodes with Danganronpa and yeah there, there's only one a day which is fine um I, I miss like you know steam train and I I don't know I guess it just has a very different vibe now. Like, back in the day, like, there was a peak where it was, like, it was just, like, a bunch of buds, you know? It was Danny and Aaron, Ross, Susie, Barry, um, uh, Brian, and then Kevin, and I, I don't know, I feel like Kevin, not that I dislike the guy or anything, but I feel like that was the line where it, like, stopped having that kind of like that kind of genuine vibe it never really felt like Kevin wanted to be there as much like he clearly enjoyed the job fine enough but it's just like his personality he never seemed 100% comfortable with the vibe and the like style I, I could be totally reading you know too much into this and it's not a dig on him or anything I think it, it is just like a it's just like a chemistry thing I guess I don't know and then, yeah, after that, um, I think it kind of came back with uh, Matt and Ryan. I think they were really good as editors. Still really miss Barry. He was very good. Um, but although, check out uh, how, how about this game, his series, which is basically like a spiritual successor to Sequelitis, which makes sense considering he was like a writer on that and like helped Aaron out a lot. Um, Oh, nothing I can do. Oof. Uh. But then, yeah, that was about the point where it's like they started getting, like, they started expanding and it became 
less of the YouTube and like there was more of the business side. They started making games, you know, they started doing the touring thing and a lot of their people now, I just like, it's it feels like employees and it feels like a startup and it feels like a business. It doesn't feel like just a, a I don't know, a family, I guess. I'm sure they all have a great time together and it seems like they all like each other. But just like, I don't know, that, that vibe, that like, that very like, built from the ground up, scrappy YouTube vibe has like just kind of, it's just not there anymore in the same way it was. And especially with like Ben as an editor, I don't even know. Like that's the thing is I was watching some of their recent ones, they don't even like call out Ben. They literally said like whoever's editing this and it's like, wow. Like that, that was just like such a core component to Game Grumps was that they would like talk to the editor. And the editor would be like the third grump in the room, basically. And they just, they lost that. And yeah, I don't know, Ben like, Ben also, it's like, I just, I don't know, I, don't, I just didn't really vibe with his style of comedy. I didn't like how he was just way too intrusive with the editing. You know? Like he would, uh, he would have the robot voice instead of just text, and he would just do it way too much. Eh. I don't know. It's, it's fine. It's also like, things were weird for a bit with the, uh, with the pandemic, and that kind of really, like, changed the vibe, but the vibe kind of changed even before that, I think. I don't know. It's just, I, I missed out on, like, six years, like, a good chunk of it, really. This is, um, we're coming up on the 10-year anniversary of the channel. And, yeah, it's just, it's changed a lot in some ways for the better. I feel like Danny was 100% the correct choice to bring on. Um, to replace John, because, like, the John era is what a lot of people came on for, and a lot of people left after that, which is wild, because that was the first year out of almost ten now. But, um, there, John, like, John really was a bad influence on Aaron. He created this weird, like, jock, jockey, frat boy energy, I guess. And it just, like, yeah, it felt, I don't know, it just... Going back and listening, I'm like, man, John would, like, actively piss Aaron off. He'll, like, pretend to be pissed off at Dan sometimes, and he'll get mad at the games, but, like, John himself would upset Aaron so often early on. And, like, uh, listening to the early Dan days, it's clear Aaron's still in that same kind of, like, comedy mindset. And there's, like, a middle ground somewhere in there that I think was actually pretty good, where it was, like... Very, very high energy from Aaron. Very, like, chill from Danny. And then eventually they kind of met in the middle. And it's, it's like, uh, great now. You know? I mean, Lord knows, you have to find chemistry with someone when you do, uh, that much, that much, uh, time with someone for that long. It's like being right next to them on a couch playing games for better part of a decade. But, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I still watch it, and I'm still gonna keep watching it, but... There's... There's a lot that's changed. Some of it for the better, I think. I, I do appreciate the longer episodes. Because, like, going back now, after they've had the long episodes and, um... You know, watching, watching just the piddly little 15 minute episodes, it's like, wow, yeah, those are hardly anything, really. They just felt like a, a snack compared to the, the full, full menu, full course meal that we get now every day. But at the same time, there it's also the lack of variety, I guess. It's like, that's what Game Grumps was originally. It'd be like two episodes a day of just Grumps, and then it became Grumps and Steam Train. And it was nice because they just had totally different vibes. Whoa, oh, okay, there we go. 
like, Ross and Danny worked very differently than Aaron and Danny did, and it was very, very fun. And then, um, what was it? Uh, not Grump out. Grumpade? No. What was it? I don't know. Yeah, it was Grumpcade. Grumpcade. It was steamrolled for a little bit, and then it just kind of became Grumpcade, which could feature YouTubers because they didn't really want to feature YouTubers on guest grumps because they wanted it to be, like, you know, meant for, like, very high-profile guests. But then they kind of stopped that, and they don't... I guess it's just that all we really get to see is Dan and Aaron now. I miss other people being involved. And I know Allie is there usually in the background and a lot of them lately because Danny is in a different room and Allie's like right there. But also, I don't know, it's not the same thing. Boy, my voice is getting pretty, pretty roughed up. I got first in that last one. That's pretty good. Hold on, I'm gonna grab some spray. Yeah, I really don't like this new spray. It's very gross. It does kind of counteract. <coughs> I've been using a prescription mouthwash and it's been uh it's been causing like kind of a bitter taste with most of the stuff I've been eating or drinking. Okay, I got third. Third's all right. Um so it it's the sickly sweet does kind of counteract that, but it's still not very pleasant. Let's let's go back to banana cup now. I had a I had a little taste of the bell cup, but I, I'm I feel like I have better shot at the banana cup because I've done more work here. Oh God! Excuse me. Excuse me. I had dinner like an hour before streaming. Oh, crap. Way too early. Um, I had a delicious stack of savory pancakes. And you're probably wondering, why, Iggy, what is this savory pancakes? Well, you make pancakes, but you just don't put any sugar in it. And you make pancakes the best way, which, uh, write this down. I got this from Sorted Food, so you can also just look up Sorted Food Pancakes on YouTube, but basically, you take an egg, or I suppose you could use a banana instead of an egg, but if you want to make you know, banana pancakes, which is fine if you're vegan, um, and uh, if you're using an egg though, you weigh it out, weigh out your egg or your banana, then you uh, either mash up the banana or you separate the egg. So separate the yolk from the white and you uh, whip up the white to soft peaks. You can look up what that means. And then you mix the, e the yolk with an equivalent weight. So however much the whole egg weighed, that much milk or soy milk or water if you don't want to do any of that, but you know, something like that. Having something with some fat in it, like a nut milk is really good. I use soy milk because I am lactose intolerant. And uh, and you mix that together. It's easiest if doing this to uh, weigh it in grams, by the way. You do need a scale. I guess I should have said that, but it does make it better. If you're doing anything with like flour, having a scale is always so much better. Um, so you mix your liquid with your yolk or uh, your banana and your flour, which will be the same weight as the whole egg was. And mix it just real quick until it's just just wet, you know. If there's lumps, good. You don't want to overbeat it because then you get like a bunch of gluten and it gets a little chewy. Um, then you fold in 
your whipped whites until they're incorporated. And then you just cook it like a pancake and it comes out so fluffy and delicious. Uh, oh yeah, and a pinch of salt, pinch of baking powder. Um, what else? And then if you want to do it sweet, you know, you can add like a uh, tablespoon of sugar. And uh, if you want to do it savory, crack a little black pepper in there. And then you can stack it, if you're doing it savory, with whatever you'd put in a crepe, really. Um, or if you want to do this as a crepe, uh, just do the same thing, but don't... Uh, but use half as much flour. That way it'll be nice and thin. And, yeah, if you do a savory, I did uh, some avocado, some tomato slices, some smoked deli slices. It was very delicious. Probably could have used like a sauce or something, but I didn't really have anything on hand. Mustard, maybe? Mustard might be a little much. Uh, ooh, vegan could have been good. And then, yeah, a little salt, pepper to taste, whatever. Should have done it as a crepe. I think next time I'll do it as a, well, maybe not crepe. I should just do, like, a salad. I have a bunch of romaine they can't get rid of. That's the problem with buying lettuce. Anytime you buy lettuce, it's always in such a huge quantity, and it's like, I don't... I'll eat like a salad every night when I have lettuce, and it'll still wilt before I can use it all. And it's, yeah, it's frustrating. I, wanna, I don't want to waste it, but also like, there's no smaller way to get it, as far as I can tell. Cabbage is like that too. Like, if you buy a whole cabbage, you're probably gonna throw out most of that cabbage because like, it takes so much. Although, I suppose I could make it kimchi. Mm. I don't know if I want to, though. I'd be nervous about making kimchi because it's, like, fermenting. If you mess that up, you can get that botulism. That's no good. Ah, oh, dick, I missed it. Yep. And then this, I always expect to be able to do a trick off of that. I never can. Whoa! Don't get so close. Don't get so close. I can just buy kimchi in a jar. It is delicious. Very good for you. Sauerkraut. It's got plenty of vitamin C. Man. Uh, I'm gonna keep going because it's been a bit, so I want to get some practice on these other races. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. Ah, yes, the Royal Raceway. I had a lot of practice on this one because I played the hell out of Mario Kart 64. Yep. Uh, uh oh. Ah, dip. Why did I push Y? Why, for some reason, I'm not, I'm not sure what that was. Got him. Whoops. No, nope, that was too small an area to drift. I'll let her hang out. Cause she's got that banana. That she could hit me with. And I mean, I could overtake her easily. Uh. I'd rather her get the blue shell, you know? Whoop, why not? That's fine. Fine draft right ahead of me, I don't care. Get that convoy. Um... Interesting that baby Rosalina is the, uh, rival in this particular race. I don't think that I've had that one yet. Ah, dip. Whoop! Still, oh, oh, not quite, not quite. All right, it's still the second lap. Oh, 
Yeah, I think I'm still gonna come in first overall, but I'm not gonna get everything I need for the uh, full three star. Oh well. I need to go faster. Actually, no, I'm going plenty fast, frankly. But yeah, try that pancake recipe at home. I dare you. Uh, here's another pro tip. Check it out. Oatmeal, right? Just like old-fashioned oats that you get in the, the tin. Uh, what you do is they'll say on the can like, oh, this much water for this much oats. Just boil the water, throw the oats in, cook it until it cooks down. Yeah, fine, sure. Here's what you do instead. Put those oats in a dry, like, skillet, right? Like a frying pan. And toast them on low heat. All right? Until they get a little toasty. Meanwhile, in, like, an electric kettle or, like, another... Or like a regular kettle or another pot, just boil some boil the water, and then once it's toasty, once it's boiled, you pour the boiling water. And careful, because it's gonna spatter a lot, so do it slow. Pour the boiling water onto the oats; they'll immediately be simmering. And then you just wait five minutes. Throw a little pinch of salt in there. Perfect. Uh, that's, that's what I do for old-fashioned oats. Similar with, like, the, the pinhead oats, the, like, Scottish, like, like, extra tough oats. A similar thing, but you, like, go for, like, half an hour. Um, and, you know, it's just, like, three cups of water to a cup of oats. Do the same thing with the kettle, that's really key. Um, and then... Add uh, a milk, either a nut milk or a milk, whatever. Like another cup after like 20 minutes, and you'll you'll uh, be able to get it nice and creamy, which is wonderful. Should do that tomorrow. It's just it's always just slightly so much work, and I'm usually just like ah whatever. I'll just have like. Some yogurt with some granola, like, like soy yogurt or like coconut. Most of the like uh, non-dairy yogurts are coconut milk, and it's okay. I don't like dislike it necessarily, but it's like the soy version is just so much better. It's, it's just got so much more fat. It's like nice and, and thick. It it feels the most like yogurt, you know. Um, I like a brand milk. Make some brand muffins. I should actually. I'm out of brand muffins. I should make some tonight. The problem is I'm the only one eating them. So last time, uh, half. Oh damn. Last time half of the uh, half of the the muffins went like moldy before I could eat them because I made a dozen. But this time I'll probably like freeze a, a half dozen. I think. And then the rest I'll uh. I'll, I'll go through in time. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And for bread muffins, I just do the the uh, Go and Betty Crocker say it's, it's got a pretty decent thing. Although instead of vanilla extract, I'll use pistachio extract. It gets that nuttiness. That's good stuff. That's real good stuff. Woo! Uh-oh, whoa! Uh -oh. oh ho ho Very, very close, but not quite. Yeah, see, I'm like three shy of the of the three star. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Oh wow. 
Actually, I only got the one star. I feel like I should have gotten two. I guess I did pretty bad on that one, huh? All right. Next shot. And now we're going for all the candy in the dish. Anytime I don't get first, I have to start over. I mean, I don't have to, but it's just like... There's no reason to continue, because I won't be able to get the three star, which is why I'm here. Here we go. Nice. All right, all right. Whoa. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yep, yep. yeah, I think a lot of my plans for cleaning probably won't be able to get done at this point because my roommates come back on Tuesday. But I think I'll, I'll at least get the living room cleaned up all nice. And, uh, the kitchen? I don't know. I definitely, if I do end up going to Ikea, I will, uh... Ah, dip. No, no! Yeah. If I do end up going to Ikea, then I'm definitely going to clean out my room. Because I'll need to just, like, rearrange everything to make room for that Kallax. Which I've been wanting to do for a while. You know, because it's like, that's the standard. But at the same time, I was like, man, I like having a non-standard situation for my board games. You know? But it's also like, I don't know, it, everything's just like tucked away, and it's like it's a fine enough system, but it's a pain to get any of the games out. So I feel like just having some nice shelves where you can A, see the games, which is, you know, great, because I spend so much money on my board game collection I'd like to uh I'd like to actually be able to show it off and uh also because you can just immediately see where the games are and just scrap them but granted I don't think I'll be able to fit them all on the collect so some of them will still be tucked away but that's fine I'll tuck away the ones that you know you don't play as much or like the ones I'm planning on selling the unfortunate thing is the ones I want to sell are ones that are not very good, and would you believe it? Not a huge demand for ones that aren't very good. Although, I found, I got really lucky. I went to Goodwill in my town, and they had a copy of Deep Sea Adventure, lightly used, maybe a, a bootleg because it's a lot bigger of a box than a... Uh, my other Oink games, and the finish is different. So it could be a bootleg version, but as long as it's got all the pieces, I don't care. I got it for five bucks, which is great, because I've been wanting to get that one. And a copy of Azul, just original Azul, uh, in, in shrink for five bucks. Just untouched, awesome. I, w I was so happy seeing that because I've been wanting that one for a while too. And it's always one of those ones where I'm like, eh, I'll wait. They also, for $10, had a very used copy of uh, Castle Risk, which is a version of Risk from like 1986. And it's like, it's all taped up and like in poor shape. It might be missing pieces. I haven't gone through it yet because I'm kind of just like quarantining all the stuff I got from Goodwill for a few days. In case, you know, there's COVID on it or whatever. Um, but, yeah. I'm, I'm very stoked on that. It's... I've been thinking for a while. I kind of want to make videos restoring board games. And this, I think, would be a good place to start. Ah, oh, you son of a... Ah, oh, you thought about it just before I did. I feel like this is always going to be the bottleneck. This track always gives me so much trouble. But yeah, because it's not in terrible shape. Like, I've certainly seen, seen it in worse shape. 
um, seen games in much worse shape. And, like, it was fairly cheap. And it's it's old enough that I feel like people would really, really care. Man, I dropped to ninth! Oh wait, it's, there's still another lap to go. Can I do it? Can I make it to the front? Do you guys believe in me? Give me your strength. Give me your strength for the spirit bomb! Mario Kart. However, that went on. I mean, I did actually watch a decent amount of Dragon Ball Z just because, like, it was like Pokemon, like Yu Gi Oh! It was an anime that was on television, so I, you know, I watched what I could. I always preferred, like, Yu Gi Oh! and such, but. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, dip. Second! Link! Okay. Stern from the tap. I don't know. I always preferred Dragon Ball. Like, original Dragon Ball without the Z. Because it was like a fun adventure, and then it just turned into like a fighting anime, which was okay. I think that was like a lot of shows, though. Yu Yu Hakusho. It was like super fun in the beginning. And then, uh... Literally, there's even a splash page in one of the manga volumes where it's like, whoops, we stopped being ghost detectives and just kind of turned into a fighting shonen. Oopsie. It's like, bro, like, I'm glad you recognize that you did that, but also I'm upset that you did that because it's just not as good. You know? Eh. I would have... Yeah, I stuck with it for a while, but then it's just like fighting tournament arc. That's kind of how I'm feeling about um, uh, BNHA, man. Like, it's it's still fine. And there's still good stuff. Anytime I watch it, I'm like, yeah, this is pretty good. I'm just getting burned out. We're like, what, like nine seasons in or something? No, not nine seasons. We're like six seasons in, but it's still like... So much, three movies. I'm just, I don't know how much more I am, I'm really gonna be stoked for, you know? And frankly, if I hadn't watched it from the beginning, I would not, like, give it a shot. The only animes that I'm willing to do that for, I think, are gonna be JoJo, which we've tried a couple times and we get through the first little bit and it's pretty good, but it's like, I don't know, it's. it's not anything but It's like very wild for a... Uh, it's very, very wacky. So I get why people love it. It's pretty fun, but I just, I don't know. There's nothing about it hits me as super special in the way that like Demon Slayer Jujutsu Kaisen has. Um, and... One Piece. I gotta go through One Piece at some point. Because, like, I read up through Sanji's arc at the beginning of the, the manga. Um, and I think I saw a couple episodes in Chopper's arc. But, uh, yeah. I, I have a lot to catch up on. But I, I enjoyed it back in the day. I loved the, the concept. I love the art style. I miss when anime could have, like, their own unique art styles, you know? So much of anime now. Outside of like a Gretsuko or whatever, it's like so much of it looks so similar. It's, it doesn't look bad, like oftentimes it will look really good. But it's also like, I just, I want something that looks, you know, new or different. So when like going back to Kaiji, I was like, man, this looks actively ugly, but I kind of love it. There's like a charm to the fact that it's it's like trying something that uh, would probably not go over well in modern anime, you know? Nope. Nah, second. Oh, well. Yep, yep, let's quit. Gotta keep hammering through. Grinding, grinding, grinding.
Let's do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm getting that croakiness, man. It's not great. It's not at all. I'm honestly thinking about calling it, you know, short just because of that. We'll see how it goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. What? Yeah, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Okay. Come on now, come on. Now. I'm like focusing now, so I don't have as much commentary to do. Whoa! Almost hit myself with my own ba bomb. Oh, come on, I wasn't even going fast enough to drift. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Y'all. lead. That's always the thing in 150cc, is you can get an okay lead up, oh, there's that, but uh, you can get overtaken fairly quickly. It's not as bad as like Jack X, where like the second you mess up, you're in like fifth. You know, the one person will get ahead of you, for sure, but feels reasonable. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ow. No, not my single gray sh green shell. Gray shell. There ain't no gray shell. Although, this is your opportunity, Nintendo. They are doing that DLC. I wonder if they will do new items. I think they're doing new carts and stuff. Like new customizations, but I don't think they've announced any plans for uh, new items. But we'll wait and see, you know? Who knows? Only Reggie, if he's me. Or no, Doug Bowser, I guess. Oh, Reggie. I miss him. Anytime he shows up at like the Game Awards or something, I'm like, Reggie. <laughs> Reggie, mijo, please come back. Hi, right, hold on. I'm gonna take my break early. I keep hearing some kind of clanging outside. I want to check nobody's messing up around on my porch. So, don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet di dial. I'll be our back with more Mario Kart in just a minute.
Yeah, I don't know what that was. Uh, I think it was just my neighbors, like, in their driveway. It always throws me off, because it... For some reason, when my neighbors across the street, even, like, are doing stuff in their own driveway, or when I hear them, like, pulling their, their trash can in from the curb, it sounds like it's, like, right outside my, like, front door, because my room is... Um, like, the front door is, like, right to my right, basically, through one wall. The insulation in here is not great. So. Oh, snap. Did Link just dab? I've never noticed him do that before. Good play is Link. Come on. Come on now. Why would I do that when there's a perfectly good Iggy right here? Ah, dip! Should have waited. Ah, dip! It's always this one. I feel like it's because it's so much smaller that everybody's able to, like, mess me up. You know? I get a little more space in the other tracks. Because this one is just like, yep, everybody's right behind you in one way or another. Oh, did you see? Did you see me skirt around that banana? Nice. Nice. If I do say so myself, I say that's nice. It got. It friggin' got, bro. Let's get a boom box. I'd like a boom box, please. Gotta do something about that frickin' blue shell in case it pops up. No, 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 how am I second? What? Ah, she got right ahead right at the last second. Dip dang daroo. All right, let's give it another shot. The thing is, if I go to Ikea tomorrow, I'm gonna be spending probably 400 plus tax just to get down there. Uh, just with what I get there, and then it's probably gonna be like 40 bucks in gas. Because I'm already at like a half tank. Gas prices are not great right now. So it's probably going to be closer to like 500 bucks. Really use a new bed though. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be worth it. I think it'll be okay. Uh, thing is, I still want my room to be kind of modular for recording stuff, but you know what? Honestly, I don't think it matters that much. Um, like, like I can still record stuff regardless. Like I can still set up a table or whatever. And, like, I'm not gonna get, like, a bed frame or anything. It's just gonna be a mattress. So I can still, like, tuck it away if I need more space. And it's, like, YouTube. People don't care that much on YouTube. If you're, uh, a little more... Um... Frick. Ah, no, my alarm. My alarm for my melatonin. Which I'm not even gonna take yet, so I don't know why. Why I didn't turn that off. Well, maybe I will too. Ah, uh, we'll see. Oh, it's going off though. Hold on. Hold on. I can't even do flippies. Can't do flippies while I'm little. All right, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I hope I didn't, you know. I hope no one was uh, freaked out by the alarm sound. I know there's a lot of people who use their iPhone 
as an alarm in the morning, and that's just the worst. I used to use the Sonic Drowning music, which I think I mentioned on that Sonic Marathon I did, um, which was great for actually getting you up, but holy crap, it puts you in a bad mood. Get out of here. Ah, dang it. Don't no, go fast enough for that. Get out of here, Link. Get out of here, Link. And, uh, and just throw that behind me just to be safe. So it looks like Link is the rival this time. Sure. All right. Bam, there we go. Good, good start. I think I could do it a little better than that, but that's fine. Too close behind him, he's got that green shell. Right? I think the big one with this is just getting a strong lead and keeping it. Because if you get too close to the, uh, the crowd back there, they'll really guff your snuff. Got him. Nice. Sniped him. Nice. All right. Whoop, whoop. There it is. There it is. Whoop. Uh, 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 uh. Don't get bananaed. Ah, Monty Mole. I've got a pretty solid lead. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. I need enough room that if I get blue shelled, I can recover. My acceleration is not great. My top speed is very good. But my acceleration sucks. I should have hung on to that. Uh oh, uh oh. Gotta get some speed back up. No! Okay, okay. I think I'm okay. Yep, ending is right there. Nobody blue shell. There we go. There we go. All right. Pretty good. I feel confident. If I got a first on that, I feel pretty confident I can get first on the next two. Big Blue might be a little tricky, but I, I, you know, Royal Raceway, I've been playing this since I was a kid, so I feel pretty confident in my skills on this one. And if you keep it going... Yeah, there it is. Those purple sparks. I like. Alright. Yeah, generally my my tactic is I have a, a super super high top speed. Oof. And then I just try and not get hit as much as I can. Because if I can get a decent lead, nobody can catch up to me. It's only when I have to worry about, like, blue shells and stuff. Ah, perfect. Blue shell insurance right there. Speak of the devil. Oh. Where is it? Yeah. Get out of here. And we got that. There we 
go. Oh, that. I need another boom box, please. Nope. I dropped all my stuff. That's fine. I got, see? Got a pretty decent lead. It's gonna be hard for anybody to catch up to me at this point. Unless I get, like, really screwed over with items. I think I'm okay. Whoop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get to the outside. Those. Uh, oh, weird. I'll take it. Alright, just don't hit any balloons. Alright. Yeah, look at that lead. But I don't care about blooper. Yeah, that's fine. What's blooper gonna do? We'll make it a little hard to see. Who cares? I'm like miles away. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Big Blue, it can be a bit tricky, but it's really, it's Donut Plains that's the issue. So I feel, feel pretty. Mm. Wait, yeah, that's right. This isn't Big Blue, this is DK Jungle. No problem at all. Easy. Big Blue was in the uh, Bell Cup. All right, you got some acceleration, get you a little head, but it's not gonna matter in a minute. I am going to blast ahead once I get my speed up. Whoa, frog. I don't think I've ever hit the frog. Hello be just totally wrong on that. If there's footage of me hitting the frog, then feel free to uh, clear those up. Make me look like a fool. You think I don't know that I'm a fool? I've known I was a fool before you even knew me. My lead is not super strong, but it's all right. As long as I can keep hitting these boosts. Widen that gap. Rush a little bit. Just a little bit at a time. It's a little risky to be throwing away that green shell, but if I get a shot at that boom box, that's gonna be a lot more useful to me. Green shell again. You know what? I think I'm okay. Got a decent gap. Uh-oh. Oh, blue shell, please. Please give me the boom box. Nah. Ah, green shell. No, no, no. We're in the last lap. But it just started, so I think I'll be okay. Draft going on. Oh, no, 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 not the frog. No, oh, okay. okay. I am okay. Oh, you can do a little flippies as a little one. I guess I was just timing it wrong because he's smaller. Just the lightning doesn't bug me as much because it affects pretty much everybody. Right. Here we go. Yes. Banana cup again. Let me marker that. Uh, how do I marker guys? It's been quite a while. There we go. All right. And then, yeah, let's crack into, uh, let's crack into the next cup. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Ooh, and a new customization option. All right. All right. All right. What's the new option? Ooh, Warrior Wing. Let me see. How does that compare? What one was I using? I think I was using the squirrel, right? Uh, lowers your traction, increases your weight. Uh, anything that can make my top speed a little higher. No, it's still pretty much that. stick with that and then that's pretty good I think that might be slightly better than the p-wing it's gonna be like infinitesimally different whoa Ooh. no that's just a Mercedes Benz it's so silly to me all right I think yeah my current loadout is about the best I can do for what I want to do. So let's go to the Leaf Cup, baby! Crack into it! And then, yeah, after I get these ones, I'm going to do the 150 on the DLC ones. Then we're going to start doing the 200cc, and that's... Oh boy. Well, we'll see how that goes when we get there. Whoa. Okay, okay, yeah, I have. I remember playing this. Um, not on DS, because I unfortunately never played Mario Kart DS. Well, I don't like the present, you know. I actually didn't get most of the main mainline games on DS. I, I played Phantom Hourglass, which I loved. I played Spirit Tracks, which I, like, could not... I just couldn't play at a certain point. It just didn't work anymore. Because, like, the, the rhythm mechanic, like, the instrument didn't work. No matter how many times I did it. It was like the tutorial. I could not get through the tutorial. Because I feel like you could get away with not using it for the most part. But for some reason, the tutorial just it would not accept it. I don't know what I was doing wrong. But, uh, yeah. And I played, I think I played a little bit of New Super Mario Brothers, maybe. Yeah, never played Mario Kart DS, even though that was like a, it's supposed to be a really good one. Whoa. This area is gonna get pretty dicey. Yep. Uh, how did I get first on this one? This is, it's a lot more twisty turvy, so. That's the thing is, at this point in the uh, in the Grand Prix, it's a lot of twists and turns, but it's just a matter of me grinding it until I have all of these twists and turns basically memorized and can do them like without having to worry as much because it's basically just like hitting these sides, slipping off the edge. That's what's really wrecking me because as soon as I do that I stop dead I lose all of my momentum and that's yeah that's just a death sentence for my loadout 
but once I actually figure it out, my loadout is pretty good. Ninth. Oof. This is just a practice run anyway, so who cares? <laughs> I don't care. Let's do this. Bam. Man, I got a candle in my room. It's a uh, blueberry pancake candle. It's very, very nice. It really makes me want some blueberry pastries. Someday sweet. I, I try not to do too much sugar, but at the same time, it's like... There are much worse things for me. Like, stuff that's like really greasy and fatty? Can't be doing that. No, 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 no. My doctor told me to avoid that stuff, so... Some, some sweet sugary stuff? That's okay sometimes. Plus, like, I'm in decent shape. I lost some weight because I was sick. So, uh... I really need to gain it back. Of course, I'm planning on gaining back as muscle, but you know, that's a whole other thing. Oh, look at this. Never noticed it does that. I never try and hit it when I don't have an item, but I was just kind of like reflexively doing it because I saw that shell coming. All right, first place. Pretty good. Woo, 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 watch out for the shy guys. They are not friends. Come on now. Come on. As soon as I'm in first, I go into like focus mode like, oh, it's actually a possibility now, so I gotta take it serious. I don't really know. So, like, I'm not gonna restart this this one anyways. Since I uh, came in ninth in that first one. Whoop. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, I was hoping right at the last second. Oh well. Next race. Let's do it. Music Park. Oh yeah, I never really played Mario Kart 7 either. That was the one on 3DS. I was just super broke when that one came out, you know? I like that it does that, but that's not what those keys would sound like. Although I'm, I'm sure I don't have to tell anyone that that's not what it would sound like if you just went down a piano. Ooh! Little bump, little bump. Little bumps are where gonna get me, you know? Watch out for this big fat musical note. Oh, yeah, he's a good little guy, though. The big guy. Arch fella. My best friend. I play my cards right. Whoops.
Oh, stop. Stop it. No, thank you. like it's a longer cup than the other ones that I've played lately. I don't know. You guys feel that? It feels, it feels like a long one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't go off that side. Oof. Talking the Sherman brothers. Pretty sure they're dead. Oh, snaked first right at the last second. Thank you for that, Blue Shell. Next race. Let's practice it up. Clickety clackety, clickety clackety. Okay. And this is another one I played all the time as a kid. Although, this was the one originally where you couldn't see who was in which place, you know? And now it's, uh, they removed that, which is a little sad. That was like the coolest part about it. Also, I never go on this route. Whoa. Yep. Oh, I did it on a thing. It's because I believe um, on the N64, I just couldn't figure out who was in first because there's so many branching paths in this one. Come on, dude. Why you lock this? But uh, with modern hardware, we can uh, we can ascertain such things using complex forces. Oh, bats! Oh, bats! That's cute. Oh, I'll let him get got. Or not? Is somebody else check it out first? Hmm. Save this for any red shells. Ah, oh, you bastard. Get him, get him. I appreciate this laughter, the suffering of others. A true evil move. That was much faster. Yeah, I should just continue with that route for the most part. You can't draft off of me now, can you? Oof. That was very close. A little too close for comfort. Whoa, 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 whoa. This way. Jabam. Nice. I got first on that as well. All right, my voice is starting to go a little bit, so. I'm gonna have to call it there, but thanks very much for watching. 
please uh, take the time to follow and subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot. Check out the Discord and all my socials down below. I got YouTube, Twitter, the Stream Archive YouTube, all of that stuff. Yeah. And I'm going to be back tomorrow afternoon with some Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I've been doing on Saturdays. And I got that charity stream coming up at the end of the month. So be sure to check those out. Hope to see y'all then. And hey, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right, let's see who's live that we can raid over to. Uh, Farter is live. Perfect. Always love raiding over to him. Friendly fella. And we're gonna raid over. Come on. There we go. He is playing some Elden Ring. So let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of your Friday. Hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow for some uh for some Pokemon Legends Arceus. Alright, alright. Come on, let me raid. Alright, goodbye everybody. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.